hello friends hope you all are doing good and uh, today i have came up with a very interesting topic that what to do if you are below 6 uh, lpa in testing okay and before starting this video um, let me clarify that what is the target audience for this uh, video so if you are like uh, below like if you have less than 2 years of experience then this video is not applicable for you the reason that uh, I personally feel that initially whatever the package you can get it's like good for you so as a fresher you can like start with 2.2 uh, or maybe 8.2 or 15 LPA I have seen freshers in testing starting at 15 LPA so the thing is that if you are currently at 2.2 then like it's totally okay for you to carry on and uh, like uh, just wait to complete those two years initially because uh, many a times it happens that you have a bond period i'm not sure whether uh, like uh, this is applicable in tcs infi or wipro but i'm sure in couple of organizations there is a bond period of uh, like two years for any like uh, any employer or any fresher okay after that you have to see that uh, let's say you have joined at 2.2 okay there is no issue in that you should be happy that you have landed up a job okay after that uh, in these two years you have to make your resume and you have to build your skills in such a way that after uh, like uh, in your first switch you can land up uh, at uh, like whatever experience you have according to your experience so let's say you are making a switch at three years of experience then the minimum uh, you should target is like 9 to 10 lpa okay I'm not uh, like shooting these ranges just like that. It's just that I have talked to a couple of guys and this is uh, like after COVID, this is a market standard of 3x to 5x. Uh, we will like cover more over here. And the thing is that uh, the basic idea of uh, like me creating this video is that if you have like below two years of experience, then it's totally okay. This is not for you. And like the problem arises like wait what is the problem statement the problem here is let's say you are at five or four years of experience and you are below six uh, lpa then there is an issue with your salary that you are underpaid uh, like underpaid is not a correct word because it depends what skill set you have so maybe uh, like you are not upgrading yourself regularly so that can be an issue there are a couple of issues maybe you need more stability or location is an issue with you or probably you are like uh, you are in your comfort zone so that is also an issue which i have seen that guys don't switch that often like uh, switching uh, is like it's a separate uh, topic whether you should whether you should switch or not but your salaries uh, should be at par with those guys who have like switching who are switching regularly okay that is my motive and uh, like again i have made a separate video on the ideal salary range you can watch it or uh, like i can uh, give a review that if after like this is applicable from 2 to 10 years of experience guys after 10 years there are a couple of more factors that kick in so this is not applicable for those who are uh, like more than 10 years of experience but if you are uh, like if you are falling in this range 2 to 10 then uh, your ideal uh, salary range should be like 3x to 5x if you are following in between then it's okay okay if you are below then you have to like work hard and get your skills right and skills upgraded and reach at this level and if you are like above that then it's like pretty much good nothing to say about this okay so this is my target audience uh, again uh, stating that at three four or five years of experience if you are below six lpa then you are doing something wrong okay or probably like uh, because uh, what i feel is that money is a great motivator okay you should not be 100 percent money minded but again like uh, you cannot ignore this fact that uh, no matter how much uh, benefit your organization is giving you what is your location preference uh, maybe like you can be in your preferred location or anything else uh, but this this should be at least uh, like uh, at this you got my point even like uh, if even if you are in remote location by remote i means if you are in like tier 2 cities like chandigarh or by tier 2 i mean uh, at those uh, cities in which the it presence is not that much maybe lucknow okay and like nowadays a couple of more organizations are coming in dehradun 
okay so if you are at these location then also like this is not justified this this 6 lpa now coming to that coming to the point that what you can do so like you have identified the problem statement that okay you are underpaid then what you have to do so uh, like for this i have made a separate video on the road map to get like at least 20 lpa in testing that is pretty much possible so for that uh, the thing is that uh, let's say you are one years of experience okay you are currently at one year of experience and you know manual testing then obviously like you have to move toward automation that is the the need of the r and at let's say you have learned automation and you have made your first switch you are at 4 or 5 years of experience after that you have to see that uh, what all you can add to the bucket right maybe uh, some non functional testing okay or probably rpa you can move towards rpa or cloud whatever it is uh, just uh, figure out that and like again like i'll not repeat and i have made a made a separate video on the road map on how to get like upskill yourself and what is the like next path for you to get your uh, like desired package after that uh, there are couple of resources so in free i'll say youtube and udemy i'm uh, like putting udemy in free just because it is like very less it is very nominal charges so it is like almost free for uh, uh, i think like 500 to 700 rupees is like you can easily invest in your learning if you can pay 1 lakh fees uh, for your btech then i think this is very 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 nominal and again like the uh, like the resources the learning which you get out of udemy courses like i agree that not all udemy courses are that much great but most of the like uh, i feel that if you see the ratings and the number of students enrolled that will give you an great idea about what exactly that udemy courses and it will give you a clear picture okay whether you should enroll or not so in the description box i'll comment down some of the udemy courses which i have personally followed to learn automation and api and the cloud so you can check that and uh, again there are some paid trainings in paid also like i want to bifurcate uh, that after just when you are fresher so this is also a very interesting topic that when you are a fresher so nowadays there are some academies like i don't want to name anyone but there are a couple of training institutes so what they 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 say that uh, like they will provide you training plus job placement so please don't fall into this trap there is maybe out of 100 they can place two but there is no way that uh, they are going to place 80 or 70 out of uh, 100 okay and uh, like those guys who enroll in these courses are the one uh, who could, couldn't get job uh, during their placement season okay so if you are a btech then there is a big no no please don't join these kind of training institute where they provide you training and job placement guarantee there's no such like funda i believe me that i like every like uh, every week i uh, get to talk with so many students uh, they say that sir we have taken admission in this institute we have covered manual testing and we are not able to like grab the automation part and like uh, they are not providing us the job placement which they, uh, they have uh, like initially which uh, they have agreed on okay so maybe i'll make a separate video just comment down if you are interested uh, in watching these kind of videos uh, where uh, like i can maybe uh, invite someone uh, who have uh, who i have uh, like uh, uh, interacted with recently so maybe i can invite some of the guys and they can tell their own story okay so just comment down if you are interested in this kind of video and the second uh, kind of uh, uh, like resources are that Uh, which says that we will take your two month salary so this is comparatively better than uh, these like these training institutes okay so and uh, after this there are third kind uh, which are uh, like uh, providing you uh, automation practices so that is like up to you if you can afford it there is no harm in uh, like purchasing a course just uh, research a little bit that uh, what are the credentials of the instructor and uh, like just uh, if possible talk to previous uh, guys okay who have like purchased this course so this these are the things regarding resources and if you can follow uh, these 
like resources completely so what happens uh, with most of the guys is that they just like start with 100% energy at the starting of the course okay so right now the course is at zero and by the time the course reaches 20 to 30 percent uh, of the syllabus they their energy level are at 50 percent and by the time this reaches uh, like uh, course reaches 50 percent so their energy level are at 10 percent by energy level i mean the focus and the interest of learning uh, the subject so this is a really big big issue so like whatever you are enrolling it just uh, enroll in wholeheartedly and put in your 100% effort throughout at the like uh, if I can give you an example just take out any playlist of uh, maybe DSA or automation you will find couple of uh, playlist over there just find the number of views on the first video and the number of views on the last video you will uh, get an uh, like idea what I'm talking about okay and last but not the least like there are some things which you need to fix before learning or enrolling in any course um, so the things which you have to fix is your mindset that uh, understand that uh, how uh, like how should i tell this that uh, fix your uh, like day to day routine so if you are not uh, like if your body is not healthy then your mind will not be like uh, whatever i am telling you right now is something which i have personally felt and i have applied on my day-to-day -day life that's why like i was uh, like able to learn so many things okay uh, like i am not a nasa scientist and i have not uh, done any like great work but still like i feel whatever i was uh, like couple of years back i have transformed myself so that's uh, that uh, that is very much important because until uh, you fix your health if you are not healthy like if your body is not healthy then no way you can focus for one hour and this much like this is very much necessary uh, to learn or to grab anything and one more uh, example um, like i would like to give it to you that have you seen those guys in college or in your school time also that those who are topper are topper in every field okay they are uh, good in like sports they are uh, good in like they are good in playing instruments and uh, they are topper throughout and like i'm not talking about the mogu guys uh, but still like uh, those uh, who have their like try to be in uh, like develop overall personality rather than just uh, like learning or okay and the second thing which i would like to focus is your communication skills so this is something that which will not come easily you have to practice it regularly for six months but believe me that if you can uh, like find a mentor or probably a coach that uh, can uh, guide you like i'm also like taking those classes in which you can speak effectively and interact freely so like these are the things which uh, doesn't like looks like that they are going to make uh, any dent in your profile but believe me that these small small things add up uh, to a pile and in the end uh, whatever the result you get is this sum of all those small efforts which you have put in here okay so i hope that is like uh, too much for this video i have a couple of more uh, like uh, personal stories to share because uh, i feel that uh, rather than just learning things you should know how to learn things that is uh, like more important and uh, that's it guys if you are interested in more such video just comment down below and i'll be happy to make uh, these kind of videos so thank you guys have a nice day and uh, like if you have any doubt just comment down bye